Hi, I'm Stefan, co-host of this channel, and in this two-part series I want to show you how I built a historical scabbard for my medieval sword. To make it easy and more accessible, I used counterparts to historical components such as wood glue instead of hide glue, or thin wooden boards instead of split planks, sourced by modern ventures. You will find a material list in the description. To build the scabbard I used the sandwich build method. No power tools or other noisy devices were used, making it a nice evening crafting experience. You will find timestamps to key moments in the video description, and I will do my best to voice over some additional comments. There's a very detailed written build log by Thorsten from the Stahl Academy Leipzig linked in the video description. It isn't written in German, but also the pictures are already pretty self-explanatory and it helped me a lot designing the scabbard. In the first part, I will take you along building the scabbard core and fitting the sword. And in the second part, I will show you the lever works, the finishing and the belt arrangement. So, enjoy the first part. You already saw me tracing out the outlines of the boards on this 1mm board of lime wood. This will be done twice for two center pieces. Since the boards are so thin, you can easily cut them with a sharp blade, like this carpet knife. Just trace the markings in several passes until cutting through. The next step will be cutting two outside boards into length, the same length. After making sure everything fits, I use wood glue to glue each center board to an outside board, still leaving two pieces in total. While the pieces are clamped together and the glue dries, I prepare the lining for the scabbard. For this, I use herringbone wool leftovers. And with the templates from the beginning, I can already cut them into shape. After the shell pieces dried a bit, I glued the wool inside with wood glue as well. And one quite important step is now to protect your sword. For this purpose I used painter's tape to cover the blade. Now you can assemble all the layers keeping the covered blade between the two center parts and also adding two other outside boards on both sides using wood glue in between each of the boards.
This will be then clamped together till it dries completely. In between wiggle sort a bit, to not glue it into place as well. The next step is tracing the outline of the blade onto the assembly. You can either use the sword itself or one of the cutouts from the beginning. And add a liberal line to the tracing. I used my finger as a high precision measuring tool. It's just better to leave some headroom here. To bring the scabbard now into shape, I use a sharp knife again and work my way through the material in several passes until I'm pleased with the shape. With the shaft blade you then give the final shape to the scabbard and finishing it with some sandpaper. To give the scabbard a bit more stability, I used linen to wrap it once with wood glue. Thank you. 
With this done, we've finished now the core part of the scabbard. If you don't want to miss out on the final steps in creating the scabbard, then consider subscribing. Also, if you want to support us, please leave a like and share the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, have a wonderful day.